One, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, one, two. Now, I bet you people thought that poor fella can't even count to three. <laughs> now, tell the truth now. Didn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, fellow farmers, 4-H clubbers, and future farmers of America. Brass Incorporated, ladies and gentlemen, our very own drum and bugle corps, Minnesota's finest. Let's hear it! Desk. Now quit that. Hands all over me here in the road. A machine with a pulling power of 275 horses. Equipped with the elf in operator comfort and safety. The sound guard body with rollover protection. Air conditioning. Our own personal top duties with high ladies and gentlemen, and one of the proudest ever to sail the prairie seas. Here it comes, 86-40, the big iron horse, ladies and gentlemen, the iron horse! Oh, well, how'd you look at me? Didn't anyone ever buy you a toy with me? That you got Disneyland, honey. If you put our house in hock to buy that, it'll plow what thunder. Hi, uh, how do I come in? Sure, sit down. I'd like to see a machine. A lot different from the one I drove when I was a kid. You. You're all perspiring. Are you going to get pneumonia? And who's going to pay the doctor's bill? You. How come you want to talk to me? Because I got a big surprise. You ever see one of these gizmos? Yes, yeah, it's a train ticket. Right. All the way to Minnesota to Grandma and Grandpa. When are we going? Not we, sweetie. You. Why? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Don't sit down. 
Rusty, I would rather lose my arms and my legs than miss a minute of your life. But Daddy and I just don't know where we're going to end up, or how, or maybe even if. We've got to move on. And we can't take you with us. We can't even feed you. I can quit eating so much. I can help. By raiding trash cans? Listen, Rusty. No, I'm not going to call you Rusty anymore. I'm going to call you Russell from now on because you're a man, right? How come I don't get the vote? I don't want to go, Mom. I'll do anything else you ask me. I promise you, on my honor and cross my heart, it's only temporary. Just like this crummy depression. And if you don't like it, baby, you just whistle on it. I can't. There's no such word as can't, Rusty. Please help me prevent you. I never even met him in my life. I got your asthma stuff. I could just trust you. Hold on. All right, Dan. All right, now just hold on. All right. Now I'll hold it for you. Now you just draw on it, Dan. Hold. Just draw on it. Draw. Go on, draw. I hurt my lip the way you come jabbing that way. Come here, putting on my eye practically. You waste your breath. Thank you, me. Now you just rest. Richard Manures, no job for you anymore, Dan. Either it's cleaning that barn or hand milking the cows, not alone it ain't. <coughs> Why don't you just leave me out here in the manure heap? You won't have to worry about any. Well, I wrote to Philadelphia. I told Mildred we'd take the boy. <coughs> you what? And I sent her the fare out of my egg money. No boy but one, there never was. Dan, stop it. There's no boy but one belongs on this farm. Except our son Danny and his dad. And it's going to take him a long time to come back from where he's gone to. Take care. What comes out of your mouth, you're going to have to eat with it later. But, Jameis, you take care, too, because he's not setting foot on my farm, and that's fine. Oh. Reckon that's him, staring like a rabbit? I don't know who else it could be. Don't look like anyone. Looks like his father. Well, that ain't anyone. So you must be Russell. Hi. Well, you think we're finally laying eyes on you. You've only been a snapshot up to now. Yeah, you too. Well, you must be chilled right through. No, they let me wait in the church a while. This old geezer told me a whole history on how it burned down and stuff. Then he had to lock up. But I have these. Oh, my word. Daniel? Daniel? He, he's all wrapped up like a parcel. Dan, this is your grandson. Yep, I see. Hop in. 
Did you know one of your headlights is almost out? You heard the history of that church. You heard the only thing of note to come out of this place since there was a two-headed calf born over the young quick. Mom and Papa all fine? Yeah, I brought some pictures. just cut her hair. Yeah, and Dad didn't like it much either. Oh, we're all so much older. So much older. Minnesota comes from mini and soda, that engine for water when the sun puts color to it. Also known as the gopher state. Dan, the boy don't need a lecture at one o'clock in the morning. I'm telling him all this so he knows we ain't hit. Our son, Danny? before he left us and passed on, was admitted to the Dartmouth College back east. Yeah. Could have gone anywhere, become anything. He had capacities you just don't find. What do they call you? Rostel or Ross? What do you like to be known as? Don't matter. I'm not going to be here that long anyhow. they call it in Philadelphia. The whole world don't say whiz or we or brain your lizard the way we do. Door all shut. You have to hold it too. Hooks busted. served all right for your mama when she was growing up. Bible to the nightstand. Closet's there. Now, if you ain't warm enough at night, that stovepipe in Daddy's room, that stays warm and heats up the hall, so just leave your door open. My mom says thanks for taking me in. <laughs> well, you'll earn your keep. It's odd I don't know what to call you. Uh, Grandma's all right to call me. <laughs> I had it all imagined different in my mind. Emma! Well, we all bid you welcome. the healing hand, Emma. All right, Jim. Back rub before I go night-night. You look like the Statue of Liberty.
the ice. about making hooch and smoking reefer. I got some grandpa. I ain't your innocent except by law. We hanged the same family tree as all and my branch had a bud broke off at 40 and come to flower. Taking to you though. Grab a pail. Sit down. 
Be careful, youngster. Youngster? Yeah, get to know her. Grab a cheat. Wrinkled up and naked. That's the filthiest thing I've ever seen. Huh? Chap, don't think so. Come on, watch her down, take hold. I ain't touching it. my kind of life. I mean, I know my limits. See, I told my folks I'd give it a try, but farms and me, we just don't seem to go together. And if I stay, I know I'll be dead in a week. So you better think of finding someone else. Doc gave me a couple of choices the last time the Halon got me. Kill my cows, live off the money Emma gets for the eggs, get a man in to help. Now, a hired hand costs $216 a year plus found. Well, we just don't have the cash for that. So? You. You. You are what stands between what I spent my life keeping. I sell now. You go, it all goes. You flop, you flop too.
dare to turn your back on me. What is your concern? I'd like to know whose concern it is. If I see a living creature tormented, I live in that house. I can't stand having him around. Won't take no more. No more what? He does his job, doesn't he? He tries to do what you tell him. Now, Lord knows he does it without you drowning him in a please and thank you. Puts in everything. Yeah, I've been down to the shed, too. Busted into there. I didn't put feelings open. I want to take the boiling water to everything he touches. Just call him up. Busted into your life, then. That's all he busted into. Danny was my son, too. The sweet Lord took him from me, too. But I don't recognize him anymore from how you've made him over since he died. Killed! Killed in a war. Plain died. Stepped on by a horse sleeping in Kansas. 5,000 miles from the war. And you disgrace his memory with your lies, making him a saint and a hero, and him like some kind of whip against everybody. Your little grandson there. And you know who'd get the medal if you stood those two boys side by side right now for just having the heart to go on taking it from you. I'm going to ram this thing at you the way you're talking. All right. Go right ahead. Here I am. Just put us both out of your misery. I never whipped you with them. How'd I whip you? Well, it's just too cold to stand out here counting the ways. And you're too selfish anymore to pay it mind. If you want it, for instance, I'll ask you how long it's been since I worshipped at the church. And when's the last social I've been to there to mix with my friends? You wouldn't let me give to the, the fundraising when the church burned down to the ground? You wouldn't even let me give them our melodeon? You are so mad at God. You think you were the only man he ever took the time to hurt. Well... The lonely part don't bother me so much. I never said this out. And I never thought I could. But I've grown ashamed over these years, Daniel. And a man that does what you just done today, no matter how sick he is, I just don't know him anymore. And I'm ashamed. Well? A well just a hole in the ground. And it don't fix nothing. Time out. You resting? I was. Turn that off for heaven's sake. You 
already had. Won't kill me to skip a meal. Oh, well, what about him? Matter, sick or what? Is he coming to milk? That's not my department. Well, I tell you, this is the coldest Christmas Eve I ever remember. It's freezing outside, but it's ten below in here. Hey, tree not decorated. Supper line come up the sole of my shoe. Everybody in the sack at five o'clock and darn tomb in here. Guess you know who built it. Ah. Hey, boy. You wake? He don't answer. You come and try. You might start by calling him something besides, hey, boy. Well, I don't know what to call him. Rusty's what he wrote in the Bible. Sounds like some burlicue queen. Oh? When you ever know one of them. Boy, you come out of there now or I'm coming in. Gone, Dan. Just took what he came with. Took my Sunday paper, too. Glad to see he ain't all virtue. to have quite a wait. That's okay by me, because I'm real patient. Well, it's good, because the last train comes through here, nobody heard of Lindbergh yet. <laughs> well, I <laughs> might start by walking north. Hit Duluth that way. About 60 miles. Get so... Guess you won't, because it's Christmas Eve. Nobody's out tonight, and I'm heading back, too. Yeah. Just come by and <laughs> get my newspaper. So if you're uh, done with it, uh, well, I'll be on my way. I thought you were ready. Want to study it over. My mine wasn't focusing so good today. How are you gonna make without any money? I'll ride the rail. Get sliced under a train wheel, they'll sell you for stewed tomatoes. <laughs> I've been near dangerous wheels before. Yeah, so you have. Well. Got all your plans made for Christmas, I expect. I expect. What we got here is a problem. 
Got a boy who don't know how to come home because he's proud. And an old man who don't know how to say he's sorry. The question is, who's going to give what? What happens to a cow that don't get emptied? Can hurt so bad it dies. Them cows have come to depend on you. What's that you got in your hand? Just it was supposed to be a present. First snowball of the season. Well, put it in the ashtray before it melts all over my floor. And go get on some dry things. Cup of tea to celebrate the homecoming? I ain't ready to celebrate anything, Dan. I don't like making things suffer, even you. Not too much come up that ain't been settled yet. So just go light something. Where? I don't know. You got 160 acres to do it in. Go chop wood or something. Russell, come in here and give me a hand. I don't know why I'm doing this. Except the calendar says I'm supposed to. Well. Guess you got a pretty good idea what it's like being family. Guess I did. Well, if you felt closer, you know there wouldn't be trouble all the time. I do feel close. A little. And I don't know what. What's the little? You. Oh, sure. <laughs> I ain't giving you too much to go on either. But I felt real bad leaving you. You're real close to someone else, too. Who? Danny. It's like he's here. 
there. I even dream about him. A couple of times, it was like he came into my room and looked so... I don't know. Like this principal I once had, Mr. Black. Instead of punishing me, he just looked at me so hurt. And I just bawled. And in these dreams, Danny always looked at me that same way. Real lost. And he touches my hair like my mom does. I feel just like I love him, Grandma. I feel so sorry for him. I love him so much. And when I wake up, I miss him so. I know he would have got along real fine. And that's weird. Because how can I love an uncle that's been dead longer than I've been alive? I know how. There's two others here that do. But I never even saw him. Except this picture. Well, here's your blood, Russell. He's a living part of it. Maybe all you have to do is look in a mirror, and there he is. Tell me what he was like. He was a marvel. Oh, Lord. I'm talking to the boy. He was a marvel. Expert in everything by the time he was 15. Farmer, hunter, mechanic. And I saw to it, too, by James. Had a singing voice as pure as glass. We had this barbershop quartet seat, sung for the Elks and such all the way up to Duluth, traveled the state, did the Shrine Circus, too. And she made him a little striped coat, same as we wore, and we'd take him along as an extra added attraction. Yeah. Well... He hated it. Yes, he told me so before he went to the war, and I drove it clear out of my mind. He hated it. Hated standing up in front of people. Hated to be showed off. Hated hunting. Hated school. Hated the farm. Hated my cows. And couldn't wait to be quit of them. The only singing he ever liked was the good night song we sung before he go to bed at night. Polly Wally Doodle? No. It was a special one, and I never sung it since. Well, the day he hit 18, it's just so long, bye-bye, and off to Kansas and the Calvary. Four months before he even got a card. No, not that long. Oh, yes, nearly, though. Said he bought a melodeon. It was his gambling money. So I wouldn't be lonesome for the music we made together. And a week to the day after they shipped him back, we had to go down to the depot again and bring the melodeon home. And I'd come off that train looking like the coffin he'd come home in. It was like he died two times. Well, Emma would play it. I I never had a stomach. I still can't say goodbye. Well, I made him something he wasn't. And I begun it long before he died. And I apologized to him. 
to know Daniel. You said it all out. Real, like it was. And there's the truth. Twenty-four December, nineteen hundred and thirty-two. I want to say, God bless my son. It's all right, Daniel. You're out of the door, Count. Suddenly, I don't know what to do with my face. Who will bring it here? You took so much talk. I won't have nothing to say for the next 70 years. Well, that would make a nice Christmas gift, Daniel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all you're going to get, too. Now, uh, down in the cellar and, uh, fetch some more stump juice, and, uh, we'll have some Christmas. What there is of it? Uh, just plain cider for me, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know all about you. Come on, Russell. Come on, let's see. Come on, you sit right here. All right? Here now. We three kings of Orient are, all right? We three kings of Orient are Fair in gifts, we travel so far Oh, I just can't play with these hands anymore. That arthritis comes on me so bad. You play real fine, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> i never seen one close before. It's beautiful. I long so to give it to the church. From what I hear, all they got down there is some scratchy old Victrola. How can you lift your heart to the Lord when you're singing to some measly record? Why don't you give it to them? No, oh, not in this life, darling. Dan Lawson's not giving anything to them. Oh, the healing it could do. And the joy it could bring. All our old friends and neighbors gathered there, here in that first chord. Well, holy better grow wings pretty quick if they're going to church tomorrow, because it's the only way they get over them drifts building up out there. Oh. Here you are. Cider. Thank you. It's my different from what you're used to, Emma. Got kind of a bite to it. Kind of woodsy. Oh, woodsy. Pressed it out, special from some of them uh, wild apples down in the south woodlot. Mmm, real um, warming, Daniel. Uh, Russell, uh, you come and help me fetch in some of that mincemeat. You're going to make a pie, aren't you, Emma? Mincemeat's right in the crock on the porch. That should eat. Oh, no, no, no. Just down here, here. You're tired. Am I? Come on. Here's the mincemeat. She's in there took on 130 proof stump juice and she don't even know it. <laughs> Can you that cure? Well, if it does, I got another jug that'll bring her to. <laughs> filling her glass, see, while I get the cracker hot, and by the time it comes a-busting out of there, it'll sound like the Herald Angels to her. <laughs> that is, if you're willing. Or do you, you want me to hit you please up front? Where we take it? Church. Toting the Bohodian. Yeah. No hail, ice, or fire, so help me, it'll be there Christmas morning. Now, listen good. 
inebriations got four stages. The jocose, and that means full of jokes. The bellicose, that means mad and mean. The lacrimose, that's weepy kind of stuff. And the comatose, and that means skunked out cold. Now, when she gets to the lacrimose, you get her upstairs and put her to bed. Yes, sir. Better put on a couple of suits along, John, because this night's going to kill what it can. Yes, sir. Me. They didn't mean to, Grandma. I don't want to hear any excuses for them, mister. Not from you, nor your mother with her chopped off hair, or any of them. Grandma, you're a bellicose. Don't you fire up the me, neither. Me and Daniel, we only got the tick of a clock left to us. No one knows how long the hog lives. Because we've all got to have our bacon. Every time he kills one of them pigs, I think. Wait for Adonais. He is dead. <laughs> Isn't that the saddest thing? We just had to touch you. And Byron. Byron. Poor butterfly Neath the blossom waiting Poor butterfly Cause she loves him so Larson. 
that wind's always cold, no matter what direction it's blowing from. <laughs> Set the sail? Yes, sir! Here we go! <laughs> Rusty. 
You remember what you said to me? You fuck, it all fluffs. Daniel, you go, and it all goes too. I tell you, some men know how to treat women. Taking that organ to the church is a surprise to Emma. Imagine an all of this. The idea, stand lost and go into church to do a thing like that. No words for it, that's all. Now, you rest here, and I'll get you something hot to drink. What's wrong with them? Don't know. People only turn that color when their heart's no good. Is he dead? Lolly, hush up. Is that her name, Lolly? She ought to have a number, like a cow. Yeah, and she ought to have a dog like Lollipop. Hey, Lollipop. Oh, put your nose on the lines are down. Tried to get through to Emma, but I can't. Where do you think you're going? Now you take that off and come sit down and have some cocoa. Can't, Mrs. Hoffmeyer. Now, well, you listen here. You are not going out in that weather alone. I come too far to quit. I gotta keep on going. I'm boss, and I'm responsible to Emma. Now you can sleep here, and you can take it over in the morning. No, ma'am. Dan's taking Grandma to church in the morning, and it's gotta be there. Dan's taking Grandma to church? Mama, I could help. I could even help drive. I can drive Dad's tractor just perfect. And the church is only about a half a mile away. Oh, me too, Mama. We at least got to try. You're the one that says the joy of Christmas is in a given, and you won't let us get any joy. The boy can do it, though. Yeah, he can get it through. All right. Coats and galoshes. I ought to be arrested.
think we should just leave it here, and then when the people come in the morning, they beat them out, Louise! <sighs> okay, we're gonna yell it out this time, all right? Come on, we can do it! Give me a one! One! Give me a two! Two! Give me a three! Three! three. Now push! down if somebody lets me. You listening close? Yeah. Tomorrow, when Pop brings my mom here, I want him to play the melodeon. He never will. You gotta make him. I don't care how. Because unless he does, we're both gonna go on hurt. He's got tears locked up in him enough to fill Lake Michigan. And he's got to let go and say goodbye. Well, I'm just going to stay stuck halfway in the world and halfway out. And I ain't never going to find peace. You got to get Pop to play. Get him to sing that song we sung together. And finally, let me go. Will you do it? I swear. A promise is enough. <laughs> You've done a feisty thing tonight. Brave as ever I saw. And I thank you for it. Thank you for tomorrow morning, too. I maybe won't be seeing you again. What day it is? It's a sinful. Whole house snoring away at nine o'clock in the morning. No chores done. Dinner not made. I have no recollection at all.
Good morning, Emma. That was no cider you gave me. What funeral are you going to? I'd be happy if you'd take me to church, Emma. Take me back to the Lord for Christmas. Now, please don't joke about that. Ain't you gonna get dressed? Go to miss half the service as it is. Russell and the Hawkmeyer girls who really did it. <laughs> I'm sure the Lord will forgive this enthusiasm. But folks, take it easy on the floor. Remember what it costs to put it in. <laughs> Dan, Emma, you just heard what the gift of this melodeon means to this congregation. There's no need to rub salt in old wounds, but every member here knows what it's meant to you. Let us pray. Oh Lord, on this special Christmas day, we thank thee for the miracle of this melodion. We thank thee for the courage of this man and of these children for bringing into thy sanctuary the precious gift of music. Bless this good woman, Emma, thy daughter, and this thy son, Daniel, who even though his feet have strayed, hath in his heart remained thy steadfast servant. Heal them, and may they find community within this pole. In Christ's name we ask it. Amen. Amen. And now, I'd like to invite Emma to please come on up here and play a closing hymn. Oh, no, I couldn't. Please don't ask. I... Come on, Emma. No need to sound like Kedarusky. <laughs> No, no, a thousand times, no. We want Emma. We want Emma. I don't know what's going on, do you? My grandfather's the one that's got to play. Me and them girls, we toted the melodeon here. But it would have took a miracle to get it up them steps. 
And that's what we got. Of course, Danny Larson came back from the dead. And help us. I even got a witness. Lolly, Lolly, tell him. <laughs> anyway, it's true. He stood right here and told me how 14 years and he still ain't found no peace. And all he wants is for Dan to say goodbye. And sing him that goodnight song they sung. So he can sleep. Dan, you've been teaching that boy to milk that stump of yours? <laughs> Watch it now. People laughing are mocking my grandson. Mocks me too. Blow me your shoulder, will you, boy? Church music. Grandpa. He would have loved it so. 